Hey, hey there. Hey, in this video, we're going to go over some 1970s vintage cards like this 1974 Nolan Ryan here. This one to be the last one in the list. All of them are Hall of Famers, and you can get them from anywhere from $30 to $70. What a steal for a Hall of Fame card. But let's get to it. Okay, first up is this 1970 Topps Roberto Clemente. This is card number 350. Now you can get this one for under $50. You can find a nice raw copy for around eh, 10, 10 to $50, somewhere in through there. Now this uh, 1970 Topps was a 720 card set, and I believe it was the largest set up to that time that Topps had made. As you can see, the largely this is an uninspired set design but it, it's got a lot of good cards in it now a little bit about roberto clemente he was born august 13th 1934 and he died december 31st 1972 now he was inducted into the hall of fame in 1973 a side note here after his sudden death the national baseball hall of fame changed its rules so that a player who has been dead for at least six months will be eligible for entry so they say it changed this rule to be able to elect him into the hall. Pretty neat. That's, that just goes to show what kind of player he was and what kind of person he was. He spent 18 years with the Pittsburgh Pirates. He was a National League MVP, World Series MVP, a four-time batting champion, and a 12-time Golden Glove winner. And he had exactly 3,000 hits. Uh, one of his most remembered quotes was, Anytime you have an opportunity to make a difference in this world and you don't, then you are wasting your time on earth. End quote. This way of thinking has got me thinking that he was... This quote... Dignified... This quote signifies that he was a MVP in life and not just on, in the sports, in my opinion. Let's see, a little, a little known fact about Roberto Clemente. He suffered from insomnia and was a notoriously light sleeper, so his roommates had to be extremely quiet. And that's your 1970 tops Roberto Clemente. Okay, next up is a 1971 Topps Burt Blevin. This is a rookie card, and it's number 26. You can get it for around $40. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2011. Okay, he was a two-time World Series and All-Star. He had 287 wins in his 22-year career. He had a lifetime ERA of 3.31 and 3,701 strikeouts, and he played for six teams in his career, and like I said, you can get it for around $40, and this is a rookie card, a Hall of Fame rookie. Alright, next up is your 1971 Thurman Munson. You can get this for about, about 30 bucks uh, in raw shape, raw form. Uh, Munson spent 11 series, or I'm sorry, Munson spent 11 seasons with the Yankees. Now his impact on this team as a team leader was remarkable. He was the first player since Lou Gehrig to be officially recognized as a team captain. So there was only two people in Yankees history that were official team captains. He was the 1970 American League Rookie of the Year. And added an, MVP in, added an MVP in 1976 to become the only Yankee player to ever win both of these awards. That's your 1971 Topps Thurman Munson. Next up, 1973 Topps Pete Rose, card number 130. Now this card will run you around 50 bucks or, or under. This is one of the key cards of the 73 set. Now, let's talk a little bit about Pete Rose. He holds the all-time hit record in the Major League Baseball. 4,256 hits. 
Now your next closest person to him is Ty Cobb with 4,189 hits. It's pretty amazing. He played for 24 seasons between the Reds, the Phillies, and the Expos. He had two Golden Gloves, one MVP. He was Rookie of the Year. He had one Silver Slugger Award, one World Series MVP, and he appeared in three total World Series. What a career. It's a shame. I said at the beginning of this that these were all Hall of Famers. Pete Rose is Hall of Fame in my book. He's just not in the Hall. That's a shame. Okay, next up is the 1974 Topps Hank Aaron card number one in the set now this will run you between 30 and 40 bucks pretty good condition raw uh interesting fact about this card it was printed before he ever broke the record but i guess it wasn't too big of a risk considering how how he was playing at the time or through his whole career really <laughs> it's a very affordable option for a very legendary player you can also find these as low as eight to ten dollars in a little bit rougher condition. Um, his nicknames are, of course, the Hammer or Hammering Hank. Born February fifth, nineteen thirty-four. Died January twenty-second, twenty twenty-one. He still holds the record for the most RBIs at two thousand two hundred and ninety-seven. Another interesting thing I didn't know about him. He won the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2002. And then he was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1982. That is a 1974 Topps Hank Aaron number one card. Okay. And the record breaker. Next up is a 1976 Topps Nolan Ryan. Now this is the card that I showed you at the beginning of the video. This card will run you anywhere from $30 to $35 in, in fair shape. You know, good shape overall. His nickname was the Ryan Express. Down here in Texas, we called him the Texas Express. Uh, he was 27 years in Major League Baseball. That's a heck of a long career. He was born on January 31st of 1947. He played 807 games. A quote from Del Murphy about Nolan Ryan. He said he was the only pitcher you start thinking about two days before you face him. That's saying something. Uh, Ryan had 324 wins, and he has the all-time no-hitter record of seven. And he has 5,714 strikeouts. Ryan was also the first million-dollar-a-year player in big league history. So, so those are six really high-quality cards that you can get for really really reasonable price now if you like this video i have another one featuring six cards from the 60s that you can get for under 75 dollars so check that one out so check that one out i'll leave it over here and if you found any value in this please give me a thumbs up let me know i'm on the right track here if you want more of these type of videos, just let me know in the comments or below. And thank you.